Hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Today we're playing a new game for the channel, called Fran Bo. Now before I start this game, I want to tell you, there are very distressing scenes in it, and I just want to say, viewer discretion is advised, that's all I can say. So, blood, gore, some suicidal scenes-ish, so just watch out. But other than that, let's just get right into the game. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight, my best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh. Hello. A strange creature outside my window. The heck is that thing? I don't like it. It scares me. It looks like a goat or like a demon. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. Oh god. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Sad? Please, don't. Mommy? Daddy? I saw that little pentagram down there. <laughs> oh god, the house is like filled with blood. Huh? Mr. Midnight. What's he... Aww. Whoa, who's that? Something like Harry Potter crap? <laughs> Friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Fran, how do you feel? Um, well, I just saw my parents died, so I feel like dying. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. Recovery, don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. You know, I played the, I played the demo of this uh, a few weeks ago, and... It was like, it was grotesque. It was like really weird. Now you can see why I gave you that like little, don't watch if you're squeamish. Well, poor thing, everything will be better, I promise. Better than let me go. Makes sense, yeah. Better than let me go, that will be better. You shouldn't tell me how to do my job. But now I have, have something for you, Fran. Do your job better. Do your job better. That's all you need to do. 
Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Aunt, aunt, I don't know how you people say it. Oh. Forgot his point and click. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. We'll eat. Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you always keep this purse and give it and give it and all the other things you find in a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and Grace. Where's my Aunt Grace right now? Where was she? She's worried about you. I'm worried too. Because I'm not crazy and I'm still here. Stop it. You're out of control, young lady. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave before you do. It's time for your new medicine. No more medicine. It's called Duo Team. It will help you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Oh, I remember this from the demo. I remember this from the demo. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Dern? Nothing actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. I'm a little bit sick right now, so deal with it. Oh, I should probably... I don't feel good. Oh, yeah. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. You're the one that told me to take it. <sighs> Beware, Franbo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you and bring you back to insanity. Aw, Fran, wake up. Is Mr. Midnight talking? The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you. Hmm. Chapter 1. My Sober Day. I told you how weird this game would be. I forgot that it was point and click, too, so it's kind of... This game came out a few years ago, because I saw Markiplier play it and Jacksepticeye, and then came, like, Little Misfortune and all that stuff, and I might play that. This is part one. I have to get out of here. I guess this is, like, Fran thinking. Case, I'm not reading that number. Uh, Fran Bo Dag Dagenhart. She is 10 years old. Oh, she's only 10? Ah, oh, that would be terrible to see your parents just like dead in, dead in their room. Like bodies cut apart and you're only 10 years old. Gender female. History, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. Oh, God. The Bo Dagenhart, Dagenhart family tragedy. Diotos omitted. Treatment, Dr. Darcel Dern has tried different medis medications and all have been canceled due because of side effects. 1944. Oh, wow, this is long ago. Man, you're only 10 years old and, you ha and you're already, like, diagnosed with psychosis. Ah, that's terrible. Um, locked, we're reading the curious. I will get your nose. I'll get it. Uh, yeah, you can really tell that she's, like, she's young. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. I will get your nose. I'll get it. Okay. Um. Oh, holy moly. Something fell. I don't like that. Oh, who's that? Tower defense. We have a crazy per person for you called Fran. Fran is an odd name. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Man, this this sucks. Like, it's so sad. Ex examine, ex examine. Golden hook that fell from the curtains. The. Oh, I just put this anywhere. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Nurse. Um, look out the window. Oh, it's boarded up. It's not so easy to see through this. It's boarded up. <laughs> What's in here? Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, towels, I don't need towels. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Nurse. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. Uh, how long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. If I click I did something, would that, would that be talking about, like, the, the curtain on the wall? Let's find out. Nurse lady, I did something. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? Okay, nurse lady, you were just nice to me. Don't, don't do that. Ooh, should I lie? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like that will lead me down the wrong path. I was trying to look outside, and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally? <laughs> I have to fix this. Follow me. Hello, lady nurse. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? You know, I didn't see anything. No, miss. Well, I have to go find something to fix this, you little girl. Yes. You are a girl. It is a girl. Oh. Hello, kid. What's up with you? Oh, his name is Phil. Philip. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. They always say that. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? What yellow door? Oh, that? Is that the yellow door? Mm. You just want me to tell you. A secret code to open the yellow door. Oh. Who? Who what? What are you, what are you pointing at? Oh. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And no one will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. Okay. Um. Can I look on her desk? My legs are just fine. Okay. Can I look on her desk? Let's see. Bandage? I'll keep these patches to stop bleeding. Nice. Take some coffee, too. You're gonna need it. Ew. You're 10. Well, trauma can have a great impact on children totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can also have mild or severe de deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several um, symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as a paranoia. Okay. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm? Trauma's a word that doctors love to say. <laughs> that brain looks like a turtle. It does. Oh, God. The patient has been sleeping almost all... I, all the time, I think. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. 
some kids have come around and asked about her and when she, and when she would say and then they would say they would ask her to come out and play I think that's what it says Duo Teen 8H huh oh oh my goodness this is terrible why would the nurse have this she wants to kill us all I don't know Ooh, maybe that that like that H eight that eight H thing on the paper has something to do with this. Use. Ooh. A B C D E F G H. A B A B C D E. A B C D. A B C. The pills, Kitty told me these would help. Okay. Should I save these? Will they run out or something? Should I take them? Oh. You got a little blood in your mouth. Are you okay? Oh, oh no. This is sad. This is so sad. No. Get out, creepy creature. No. Why? Oh, God. There's... Hello. Uh... Oh. Is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. What are they saying? I don't know, it's probably like in reverse or something. Oh, hello. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Why are you looking at like me like that? You terrify me. Poor Phil. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Look at the deer. The Mm, hello? Oh no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. Sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. This patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronston. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Para paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment, okay. You can see to happiness. Yeah, to happiness. Of course, it's locked. I'm gonna go downstairs. Oh. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know you can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. Oh. This is scary. Is he, this, he might be the bad guy. You can't. Friend's mental illness isn't stable yet. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. Oh. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Mm, poor little fox. Oh no, foxy fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Oh, Foxy, why are you so sad? Oh my god. This is terrible. Do the pills like wear off sometime? What do I do? Like, do I have to like click on them? Oh, I click on them and they wear off. Okay, that, that makes that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um. What do I do? Locked. Good reason to be curious. Can I like open this? Oh, it's open. There's a key. Oh. Oh, okay. What's in? What's in? A bobby pin and a picture. Oh, that's nice. What is Mr. Midnight? 
Oh, my dear family, I will guard this with my life. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I feel like this door has to do with do something. Like, do, do we have to like get a lock pick or something? Can I like, can I like use the hair clip on this? I need something else. Ooh, okay. We're getting nitty gritty. We're getting into the nitty gritty. What did he say? Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Oh God. I hate the monster. I hate him though. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh my gosh. Just imagine like you're in this situation where you're just like, you can't, you just see things in a way that nobody else sees them. Well, I don't think anybody else sees them. It's just creepy. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. <laughs> um. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing at all. Will I go back to sleep? I don't want to. I just woke up. Okay. Smart Alec. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Yeah, I did. Oh, wait, what? I thought I did. Eight H. What code? What code? Are, what code are you talking about? I'm gonna be like stuck here for a long time. I'll be right back when I find something. Like. What is, what, like, the, oh, there is a needle, but I still need a key. I have a special key. Put those pills away, stupid. Then, can I take this out, use, on the door? Yes, true happiness. Let's go. I'm sorry, who was that? Who? Okay. God, what? The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. Let's do this door. Oh, hello. Hi. Who's you? It was one of those mute clowns. So am I. Who are you? Hello. You see them, you do, right? What? The shadows. The creatures that follow everyone. Yeah, the shadows. <laughs> you mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me. What are they? Come on. You like to draw. I love to draw. Don't just change the subject. Tell me what's going on. I love drawing too. Please tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. Okay. What is it? My dreams. Go now. Okay. Good for you, I guess. Let me take the pills. Oh. Oh, the clown's in there. You can see. Vision was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. 
This is found as a creator of auditory hallucinations and thought disorders. Oh my god. Also, Darren, Darren uh, comes close to the patient through drawings therapy. She's making progress. Oh, that's terrible. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your inner... Okay. Daddy was not there and mommy would not care. Hello, who are you? You're my, beloved, you're my beloved friend, Bip. Wait. If you want to hug me, try to catch me, Burn Bip. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me, Bip Bip. Okay. Um. The king likes drawings. The heck was that? The king likes drawings. I don't know what that was. What is what is that supposed to mean? Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. Huh. Um. Let me not take. Let me let go of those. Oh hell. Hello. There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. I'm sure it wasn't open. I know, because I locked it. Are you sure? You told me to go and eat. Did I? Hmm. Alright then, carry on. We did that. What is... The oh, the yellow door! That's my way out. Hello, sir. How are you today? Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. Ew. You should... What a... Kiss your butt. Idiot? Oh my god. What the heck? An arm extension would be nice. <laughs> you know, I, I should probably go back and see whose room this is. Even if this is a room. Any shows, uh, Damian Goldsman, Fillmore, Bronstone, Charles Hicks, Charles Hick, Fran Bo, Jason Cog, Elizabeth Moore. I, okay, I met Fillmore. Hey, get your hand off the office door. Okay, stupid. Hello, who are you? Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I want to know. I don't know if you're feeling okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? The other years, too, I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, that I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Ooh. Let's go. Who the heck are you? Are you dead? Isabel. She won't wake up. Okay, she's probably sleeping then. What happened to your head, bud? Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work. The paper isn't working. What do you what do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. Oh, isn't it like this like paper graph thing? What does the paper do? I need paper to show me what's on the television. Yeah. Why? Why isn't it working? The waves will be powerful. Change the channel, please. Okay. Yeah. Watch this. Watch it. Watch this. Sorry about that. Human testing approved. On what? Ants. Would this work? It works, it works, it's a miracle. Thank you, paper vision positive. Yeah. Great, can I see? Yeah, let me see, boo. No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. 
suppose I can use it. Oh, thank you. I'm busy. Paper vision revision in action. Give me a piece of paper. Well, now I can write and draw one on board. Nice. Um, let's go check this out. Hmm. Who is you? Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Would you please kill me, please? No. I love the B questions. It's like, okay, bye. I don't care. Bye. See you later. What's your name? Okay. No. Wait, what? But I want to keep talking to him. I have to go now. Okay. I'll kill you later. Well, I won't, but... Hey, who's you? Who are you? Hey, let me talk to you. Hello? Let me talk to you. Where are you going? Oh. Let me talk to you. Hey, Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magic tricks and make you sleepy. I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you, but it's very scary. It's better if you do it. But I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. Is it going to be like some like drugged pill or something? It better not be. Really? Woo! Yes, the magical stuff that make, that'll make anyone fall asleep. That's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here, it's a gift. Take it. Slowly. It's a pill. Uh, thanks, I guess. Bye. You know, this game, it's just so weird. Like, I... I Like I said, I played the demo, and it, it ended off when you got, like, into the first little hall. And it ended there. But now that I'm, like, exploring more, it's just... It just gets so weird. And... I mean, I, I'm definitely gonna continue this game. But... Man, it's just, it's just wow, you know? But, uh, other than that, I'm going to leave this video off here. Um, I kind of missed my mark on when I was supposed to end. <laughs> so, I will see you guys in the next video. And I thank you for being here for this. Also, if you want to like and subscribe, you can do that. Leave a comment, hit the bell if you don't want to, that's okay. Just want to entertain you guys. But other than that, thank you guys so much. I love you. You're the best. Don't ever think otherwise. See you guys. Bye.